Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. If you just joined us, this is TMI Tuesday's edition. At first, what the PDP pegged the price for the nomination form if you're going for presidency, uh, governorship, uh, national assembly, even the state has an assembly. They had this price ranging from 50 million, yeah, 40 million, there about just 40 million uh, for the presidency. Another price is just uh, followed. And you're like saying that that 40 million is somehow it's like on the high side that many persons will not be able to afford such an amount of money but this may just lead to another money kind of election come 2023 that was on one hand on the other hand the ruling party came up with the price tag on the nomination form and it was tagged at 100 million naira. And Nigerians screamed for the governorship 50 million, and the price has just goes on and on. We're like, what is happening? Did they really want to turn 23 election into a situation whereby the highest bidder will finally have his or her say, it depends on who the person is? Then all of a sudden, just to encourage the not too young to run bill, the ruling party did something. They said that if you are below 40 or 40 below and you want to vie for any position, you should bring half of the stipulated amount. That is 50% slash for persons below 40. And Nigerians have been talking about this. It's all about the 23 general elections and, of course, the price tag, especially 50% slash of the ruling party's nomination form for various positions for Nigerians under 40. Is it a welcome development? It is high time the youths came out in mass to say it's our turn to vie for these positions. With me here in the studio, I have a clergyman political analyst, political press commentator, gentlemen to welcome Bishop Austin Igbasa. Bishop, welcome to TMI, Teachers Edition. Thank you. I greet you, viewers. Appreciate your coming. Thank you, sir. Very really close to him, he was one time uh, vice chairman in the local government, one time acting chairman in the local government. He's a politician and entrepreneur. Political analysts join me to welcome Honorable Desmond Umo. Welcome to TMI, Teachers Edition. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning viewers. I'm going to talk about political analysis and, of course, talk about the tenets of Islam. This other person I really want to introduce is in depth into it. Join me to welcome Abdul Habiz. Welcome to TMI. Thank Adisha. you very much. Good so morning see, and good morning, uh, viewers. So, let's see how many days left right now for us to start celebrating. Well, we have <laughs> about four or five days. Four or five so days. We've been right? excited, if not cited. <laughs> so, four or five days. Four or five days. Yes. Okay. I should be spending my round, right? <laughs> no, this is not the round time. <laughs> it's not the round time. So, what time is it now? <laughs> it is the time to give to the poor. To give to the poor. Yes. Yes. So right. <laughs> you give God your eyes, please. Whatever you have. have. Whatever, whatever you have. have. All right. It's so good to have all of you here with me in the studio. <laughs> Let me start off with you, Bishop. When the price tag 100 million came out, Nigerians screamed. And right now, they say, Twist, if you are below 40, this is what you should bring. 50% slash. What do you feel about this? Well, uh, I, uh, to start off, you see, if you want to encourage youth, I think uh, as a ruling party, they will have done much more than this. And this price slash coming at this moment, don't forget that this is an injury moment. There are people who have thrown their cap in the ring that because of the money at the initial stage, many of them pulled back because they knew that they don't have funds to be able to run it. It's like somebody that's about to register for an echo exam and you took the price up and when it was three days to the exam, you now drop it and definitely you know the person is going to come online. So election or a, a political process is not a wake and see. It's not something you just wake up in your sleep and just rush into it. There are people that have already pulled out of this system that they've they been able to, to forgo the ambition because they look at the pros and cons that they cannot be able to raise that kind of amount of money. So a, a, gov a government or a ruling party that came up, that signed a not too young to run bill, mm -hmm. I think this is an afterthought. If eventually the, the, the ruling party had it in mind 
for the youth to be on board. I think that if the youth are given ten percent of whatever, just it's a call, just call with ten percent. We want to encourage you, you and women. We want you people to come on board. It's not after thought because some some persons who are supposed to be involved in this process have been able to say, I, I don't have such amount of money. Let me let me bury my ambition. So uh, I think that if truly they supported the not too long to run bill, it would have been in their plan and process to say we after the answers how do we bring the youth on board so that they themselves they will be part of the act of governance and they will be able to put in their best and through the, those persons who represent their interests whatever the youth stood for will be able to be fully represented in government so i'm not clapping for them at this 11th hour because one some persons who support to be involved are no more involved, involved. some persons have also lost their interest and said look at it these people they, they, they really didn't want us to be leaders of today because we are still talking about somebody who's a youth, uh, youth uh, chairman and is 16 years of age. And you say leaders are to, uh, youth are the leaders of tomorrow. When is it tomorrow going to come? If the independence and all what we are enjoying today as a nation were moved by men between 25 and 32, then why, why, when are you going to have a local government chairman who is a 25 years old person? Uh -huh. It's not going to happen. We have a, a French president who is just 40 years. Mm -hmm. We have one year of Ife between 40 and 44. Now, we thought that from the political scene, we will see people who really want the youth to be fully involved. I don't clap for it because okay. I saw that it's something that is a late takeoff. It's a late takeoff. It's a late takeoff. Okay. And it, it has already killed the ambition okay. of some persons that will come on board. I'll come back to you, Bishop. Honorable, as a politician, of course, as a member of the APC, from what he said, it says an afterthought and it's a late takeoff. It's not going to applaud the ruling party because what they did is, according to him, it has no effect. People that want to pull out because of the 100 million naira uh, benchmark for presidential nomination form, they've already pulled out. Bring it down to 50 percent, doesn't really matter. We see, you see, uh, Bishop is entitled to his opinion. Yes. And besides, he's not a politician. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that um, the APC has thought it wise to encourage the youth, at least in line with the not too young to rule. Uh, to uh, make sure that uh, the youth have an active role to play in the government. You, you don't need to, to blame them or to castigate them. So what you need to do is to construct them, encourage more of such incentives. Make a very large percentage of those that determine the outcome of every election. Mm. Like the saying goes that no youth, no election. No youth, no election. No women, no nation. Mm. That is the slogan, the common slogan among the political uh, class. And that has come to stay by way of encouraging them. That is what APC has come to do. Let me tell you, we see. One thing is very clear about this. If you look at the way our youth are living an opulent life nowadays, it is a pointer to the fact that if they come together and they are determined to do one thing, they can achieve it. 50 million from 100 million, considering the inflation in the country, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a welcome development. Recall that even the, the PDP in 2015, it was 22 million. In 2019, the need to encourage people to come in made them to reduce it to 12.5 million. And today we are talking about 40 million, which reflects the inflation trend in the country. So for the youth, if the youth are united, the major problem with the youth is that the youth are not united. They don't have that belief that they are truly the leaders of tomorrow. If the youth can come together, two youths can sponsor one, one, one person to run for president. We are talking about form now. Do you know the monetary implication of running a presidential election? Wherein you need to mobilize voters across the 36 states of the federation. We know how expensive election is in this outline. Considering the poverty situation of our... We are living in a third world country for crying out loud. And we know what it takes 
to even tell electorate to go and vote, you need to mobilize them. They don't know that it is their right to vote and effect the change they wanted. What they just expect is that, what are you giving me before I can go and vote? Okay. The orientation is not enough to mobilize the youth, to rally around one of them and sponsor them. We are talking about the youth now. The, the women too were equally uh, positively affected by the slash. And the, the people living with uh, physical uh, uh, disability mm -hmm. were also given a clean bee by saying that they should go there and pick form. We have a lot of people, even among the physically challenged, who are what to do, who can come out to contest for any of this position. I take, for example, Melody Omosa here in Edu State, can vote for, for, for the president of this country. How come there are people around it? We have seen people who are physically challenged that are ready. How come they are not coming out to sponsor one of their own? Okay. If you don't give it a try, who will come and say, go? go. Nobody. Okay. I will come back to you because of some salient points you've raised. How is? Do you share that views and opinion or you want to be on the fence this time around? <laughs> um, the slashing of the uh, indication of interest form by the APC, well, I think it's just an internal, internal politicking. Because I, I, I see what the, okay, what the politicians generally or the political parties generally are doing um, as more of a, a venture, business venture. Business venture where you are looking to gains and losses. And so on the basis of your uh, your assessment of your market, you are fixing prices for what you are selling. So that if either you want to attract more customers or you want to cut down on how many customers are coming to patronize you. Uh, taking, I mean, that's just on one side of it. But on another side of it, you know, it's been the case that uh, politics or political activities are very expensive, I think, in this country. Very expensive. Whether you say 50 million, 100 million, 35 million, whatever, wherever you place it is too expensive. I'm a civil servant, okay. for example. And my pay is not up to 200K, okay? Now, where am I going to rally around? Now, you talk about, okay, getting the youth to support you. The issue is here, what you are, what you are indirectly saying is that you don't care how I make my money provided I have the money to bring. That's what it means. Because if I want to get you to support me, uh, if I'm a real clergyman in Islam, I'm going to question, how did you get the money? How can I say a, a young man that did not, I mean, or, you know, completely stay in the four walls of a university to obtain a certificate to be employed somewhere gainfully, will just come overnight and tell me, I have five million support for you, I have 10 million support for you. Where did you get the money? So the, the, the price at which we are running politics is actually encouraging corruption. Yeah. It's a way of saying that if you are not rich, you cannot contest. If you don't have the money, you don't just come near here. And it's just like what you tell some people that if you don't have money, education is not meant for the poor. So you fix the prices of how much people will pay in school, then a person who is an artisan automatically sees himself as, no, I can't go there. This amount of money, I can't afford it. So you will find that most of the people you have in our public schools, they are the children of the artisans, because that's where you don't pay fees. Mm. But you go to the private schools, where it is assumed you have the best from there, that's where you have anybody who has money pushing their children. So the politics is equally being affected. Just as every fair, every every sphere of the life of the people is being affected by this mentality of if you are not rich, you cannot be relevant. Your honesty does not pay. Your integrity, your trustworthiness, your even physical well-being does not does not pay, I mean uh, uh, determine how we are going to determine whether you are going to be or you should not be. Somebody could not be strong, but you could not because he has the money. And the people that surround him, you say, we must put him there. If we continue this way, 
we are just going to continuously be rolling the problem forward. Mm -hmm. And the more you roll the problem forward, the more it gets bigger. And the bigger it becomes, the more difficult it becomes to solve it. Okay. So we, we appeal to ourselves, let us come down and really sit down about fixing Nigeria. It's not about this money, money, how much you have. Mm -hmm. Yes, you we waived for the youth, let them pay uh, uh, 50, uh, for that, I mean 50 percent of whatever it costs to. I was reading in the news that a hundred million is, I mean, they are all of the salaries, legitimate salary that the office holder, a president, will collect for a period of eight years is not up to a hundred million. I'll hold you right there. It's not up to a hundred million for what is whether they slash it or remain that way that the amount is just too much for some youths to really lay hands on and if it would be possible for them to bring it up the question would be how did you get these funds vis-a-vis -vis corruption is being encouraged or entrenched bishop over to you from what honorable said he said look this is politics let's put into cognizant inflation to make it easy for the women, the youth, the disabled, according to him, the party deemed it fit if for their own benefit by slashing it. At least we should be grateful to the party for putting this into consideration after all to encourage the not too young to run bill. Take it up from there. Uh, well, well I, I still remain, I remain on my point. Uh, you know, uh, governance is not we can see. Anywhere you see, uh, when people run, a government which we, you just wake up and you just say something. Hey, we, we, we should have a strategic plan. A party, for God's sake, has ideology, has a modus of operandi. And even though we are not the one that sponsored the bill of not too young to run, eventually, since they append their signature on it, I think everything that had to go around it supposed to be encouraged. But I remember the president himself said it when he was signing it, and he told the children that you must not contest against me. He was only joking. Uh, he I, was only joking. I, uh, is it, uh, I, uh, is the president in the night of a thousand laugh? Is he in the uh, comedy show? Uh, you know, when the president is talking, he's talking from his heart and he's speaking as a figure of a nation. A president does not, it's not a celebration, it's not a, uh, uh, it's not a, you are not a shrine in Lagos. Mm -hmm. So if a president is uttering a, a speech, are the, are, the, are the signing of a bill. Uh, signing of a bill is a major document that is standing to define the nation. So, definitely saying, I, I'm signing this one, don't contest with me. Means this bill is not meant to be, to, to be enforced in my time. You can't enforce it when I'm off. Now, what I'm saying is that if there's a strategic plan to make the youth have a voice, uh, the question is that what is the lesson that the political class have learned after the answers, they kept on blaming the youth. We kept on saying the youth cannot do something. Which encouragement have we given to the youth ourselves? If this is coming at this hour, what is this not yeah, an encouragement? What, what is the encouragement? I want to ask you, we see, how many hours to the to the primary election? I want to ask you, how many hours to the now a man who has already thrown in his toilet because of the uh, the big amount of money that was placed there, is he going to be running around now to say I'm coming on board? He's going to go to a bank, he's going to go and sell the property and come up now. And but for goodness sake, election and politics is a planned something. It's not something somebody just woke up in the dream and said, I, I saw myself as a local government chairman in the dream. So I want to go and buy from this money. Now, the person that is going to even give you, that is going to raise that 50 million, uh, uh, 50 percent now, yes. where is that person going to get the fund? We are talking of the youth. And how many of them are definitely employed? Is it the youth that you are giving 5,000 monthly that is going to bring out some millions of amount of money? I was sitting, uh, uh, last, uh, about a few days ago, I was sitting with a, a senatorial aspirant in this APC, in one of the southwestern states, and I could see, I, when the man was talking about how to raise the money that is nomination for, I could see discouragement in a man that is full of potential to help his people. He, he, he was broadcasted. He was broadcasted, but he is not expressing his mind. But I could see a major disappointment. And the man was telling me, he said, sir, do you know one of the aspirants told somebody that told me tonight that I, I'm going to give 500000 to each delegate? 
For I'm not telling you. Thousand, so it's I, I'm not telling you. telling you what what is written in newspaper. I'm telling you what I sat down with someone, and the guy was saying, "I don't have that kind of amount of money, but I love my people, and they know my potential." But somebody among the aspirants said, "I'm going to give to one person." He says, "Sir, how do you put this together?" I'm telling you, somebody, I was sitting with the man, and I told him, "Well, let's keep on praying and encourage you. Don't because of that person." Who had the money and is telling people I'm going to give each person? He said, Where am I going to see that? I said, Just keep on, stick to your gun, keep on praying, let people begin to see what you have done. The little position you had before, they saw what you have done. Keep on using that one to talk to people. Right. And I, I'm, not talk, I'm not even talking of a youth now. So, what I'm saying is that if there's a strategic plan to bring the youth on board, it's not coming now because it is not something you can just go and wake up somebody and say, Come on, or come into it. When you look at it in 1999, community used to sit down and go, go forth and look for one of their own that they trusted so much. I had a young man who works in First Bank here yeah, in 1999. He was working in First Bank area. They came all the way from the State to come and meet him there. The, the people in his community said, We had such. This young man did not have money. We sat down and we sat for who can represent our interests as a House of Assembly member. And we decided to raise this team to come and meet you. That you have to leave banking work and come over. Okay. This young man did not have money. But those, the, the community felt that this is our, this is a voice for us. Okay. This guy, how much it is. And he eventually became member of the House of Assembly. Okay. Now, what I want to ask you is that can you have such today when you okay. everything? Is monetized. I will come back to you, Bishop. Well, Honorable, you, you've heard the point, and you just can't help but to smile because it gets strong points. So, when everything is monetized, yes. and it talks about encouraging corruption, no matter the slash, no matter the price, take it up from there. The, 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 his last submission yeah. further reaffirmed my submission mm. that uh, when you are good, when your people see some potentiality in you, they must rally around and raise money to sponsor you, no matter how big the money is. Now recall that APC just uh, held their first NEC meeting where that uh, amount was fixed. APC did their uh, uh, convention uh, late last month. And you can see that. The, the speed at which APC came out with that arrangement is a speed of a light, considering the forthcoming election. Recall that the INEC has rolled out the timetable. There is a timeline to which all these things must be done. Mm -hmm. And note also that the youth we are talking about today, you need to see how they lavish money you must start. Are you talking about the ill-gotten money or the genuine I money? I don't see. How many people are genuine in making money nowadays in this country? How many people? How many people, even in the house of God, in politics, even in civil service, among the civil servants, if you want to look at the salary you are getting, compare it with the, with the, with the, with the wealth they have acquired, it does not match. How many people genuinely make money nowadays? It is the system that encourages whatever that is happening. That aside, we are talking about how the youth spend and live extravagant life. If they position themselves in that futuristic leadership, they should start it now. To become a leader, it's not a dead job. To become a viable youth, it is not a work and sit thing. You must begin to prepare yourself. Firstly, you must educate yourself and you must have it upstairs. That mental capacity must be there. You don't just wake up and say, I want to contest for the president of this country and yet you are smoking marijuana. People see you living all kinds of life that is not even exemplary. That is not the way to go. You must start it. You must, you must follow a full step. You must be mentored. If you are mentored properly and you are taking full step of those who have distinguished themselves in society, no doubt people will come and identify with you. The position that this country is today is not the one that you blame it on the feast 
for I mean the, the price for, for, for form. He cut across all political parties. So then we have 15 people going for president under IPC. The same with uh, PDP. Abga have about three, uh, one uh, where, where young uh, people's uh, party and other, one, one, three and other. Let me tell you, the reason why APC in their own wisdom came out with this amount is to separate the men from the boys. You don't just go, you want to contest. Do you have the wherewithal? Apart from your mental capacity, do you have the, the financial muscle to run this election? I have said it times without no that to run election in this country is very expensive. In other times, in advanced nation, you see people raising money. It can be one dollar, two dollar, five dollar. They raise money to support your viability. Do we also conduct debates to attest to the credibility of those going for election in this country? No. So, what we should be encouraging our leaders to do is to make sure that the process leading to election is transparent. People who have the mental capacity should be encouraged. Like one of the aspirants in APC said, he said, running for presidential election in this country is not a relay race, it's not a marathon race. It requires a mental capacity. That is the reason why the party is also considering those who have physical disability or physically challenged people to go, the, go in there because they have the mental capacity to drive the economy. So a situation where we are looking at the revenue mobilization and fiscal commission analysis or the, the, the publication in 2020 where they say a, a, a president of the country received a, a, a minimum of uh, 14 million annually. And if you put them together for eight years or 13 months, it will not be hmm. up to 100 million. Is that the actual basis? Is that the actual money they receive? That makes it more attractive for people to go in there now. All right. Let us be factual to ourselves. All right. There are so many allowances that are attached to that office, mm -hmm. ranging from the president to even to House of Assembly. So all these are what we should put up, not to look at the prima facie. We okay. should look at the in depth, in depth reason why people are aspiring to contest. Somebody, uh, Bishop, just mentioned that a friend of his said he needed. 500,000 naira per candidate. Per delegate. Per delegate, to mobilize delegates. And yet, he's already done, casted with the amount mm. that he, he wished to buy the form. Why didn't he just step down? Very soon, you begin to see people, those who are aspiring, that we call contenders, I mean pretenders, not the contenders now. Mm. We say, after due consultation, I want to announce that I am stepping down. That will be the next line of action among those who are pretenders in the quality now. So now that is the line of action by your party. Is that what you say? By all the political party, considering the amount of money okay. that the party are fixing for nomination for. Okay, Habiz, I, I wanted to react to all he just said. He talked about supporting the boys from the men, talked about pretenders and contenders, talked about the capacity, both mental and financial capacity. He said he doesn't want to miss what he doesn't want to, like, you know, tell Nigerians that this is not happening. After all, this is Nigeria. For you to really vie for any position, you must have the financial muscle. Take it up from there. Well, you are just talking from uh, the reality. You are talking from what Nigeria is today. But it's a presentation of a Nigeria as a people who are corrupt and whose corruption is not near be abated. Rather, it's actually growing and becoming stronger. It's like saying that uh, it's because it has become glaring that corruption cannot be defeated. So it's better we live with it, stay with it, and move on with it. If that's the premise on which you know, the prices we are fixing for forms uh, was based, then it's, it's not anything to actually argue. But we are saying that if we continue like this, we are heading for a, you know, a, 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 a precipice. We are heading for a, a doom. And we shouldn't continue like this. As a, as a man of faith, mm -hmm. 
we have to realize that the society is comprised of a lot of people of different levels, different categories. Uh, if, we, if we say that only the rich, we, the, the problem is that by the time these persons now enter the office, the first point of action is how to recover whatever I've spent. How do I recover it? Those who are supporting you, <laughs> mind you, they are not supporting you for nothing. You, are, you have to pay them too. You have to show that there was need to support you. So by, by the time you are awarded contracts to those who never own companies, it's not going to be, I mean, anything surprising because these people paid you for you to come into the office. You, you can just create a company overnight, just put a name overnight. See, I mean, uh, uh, see uh, what you call it now, the, the registration of your company, you get the, the certificate, and then you begin to run uh, contracts here and there. You build roads, you will build them um, uh, institutions, whether educational institutions, um, health institutions. You build edifices all in the name of we are, you know, we're trying to build a nation. But at the end of the day, you have poorly done works that do not last a period of time before they begin to dilapidate. So we're saying that let's address this issue from the root of it. We are breeding corruption. We are breeding corruption. We are supporting it. We are watering it. And it's growing. It's getting so strong that it's really becoming intimidating. Corruption has become very, very intimidating. Such that whoever enters that seat to say he wants to fight corruption, if he only had black hair on his head, he must come out with gray hair. <laughs> yes, that is how terrible it is. Because from every every angle that you want to block it, you just find that the people that are there standing to say that look, you can it's either you die or you leave us to continue our business. These are the people that will bring the money to support us. Are you sure that if I, Mr. Sani Abdulafi, say that I want to vie for position of president? It's not because I doubt my reputation among the people, but the people that value my reputation are not from the world. Because the things that you will do to quickly get rich are not from the things I will support. So if you know that this man is going to crumble my way, then you definitely are not going to give him support. It's a give or take thing. If I support you, by the time you sit on the throne, you must remember, remember me. me. You must remember me. So because of that, we, I condemn in all terms every, every, you know, a, a, a price fixing that completely, uh, 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 I mean, remove the chances for those who are less privileged to participate okay. in the election. Okay. No, it shouldn't okay. be. Thank you. If we want to fix Nigeria. If we want to fix Nigeria. Now, over to you now, Bishop, from what Honorable Desmond said, he said he's speaking as one a politician and of course a realist on the situation on the ground he doesn't want to paint it this is what it is in nigeria politicking it's massively expensive and this time we have to really know what we are going for if you're a youth you want to buy it's been slashed already it's just about youths coming together to project a youth because for what he's saying in the society the way some youth spend extravagantly, you'd be like, where is this money coming from? He talked about also separating the boys from the men. You mentioned one of our, you know, aspirant from your own end saying that, look, giving a delegate 500,000 for one delegate. I mean, I mean, just pick it up from where he stopped. <laughs> now, where I, I, you see the, the elderly ones, they designed, you know, it was designed that the youth will be crippled. It was designed like that. Like I said, the man who was an, who is an aspirant yeah. said that he's a fellow aspirant who is going up and I'm telling them that each delegate is going to give them five hundred thousand. So he himself does not have that kind of amount of money. And he said, he, he, he said, if he doesn't have the money, he should back out. No, what is he doing? No, no. The, the issue, you see, yes. When we make politics monetization, we monetize it. Yes. Then we have damaged the essence of democracy. It's not compulsory that you must have money before you enter into politics. That is not the definition of politics. This particular government, we invented the issue of vote buying. 
before 2015, 2014, uh, uh, there was uh, no vote. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, 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 there is nothing like that, no caption like that. We have seen stomach infrastructure, but we are people sit down in the polling booth, and even the police is helping to supervise who is who is voting for the right one and they are giving money. It has never happened. I've been a student of politics for long. I've been that's why being a man of God, like I said, some of these people who you see in power now, many of them we are we are senior to them in politics. Every man of God must be concerned about who rules over you. Because just one policy of a bad man in government can terminate and turn people and make them to go to hell. We have people today who are sitting in government. People are showing things on television. People are half naked. But you cannot show miracles. But you can show a naked person. What are those people? Even those people today who are in position of authority, are they excited with the content we are seeing on our, on our television? People that buy hat, they, that they buy nude uh, 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 that kind of clothes for people outside. Now, we are talking about a product. Is that how quality is supposed to be run? Must it be a way by money? I just showed you an example of a, a community that came to pick somebody in Benin to represent them. That was in 1999. No, he doesn't have the money. He doesn't have the money. But they saw him as somebody that can represent the interests of his people. That he can be there. Today, how many people? Look at it. How do the people that are ruling us today, how do they get there? How do they get their primary done? Who are the people that are trained them? We are talking, we are going to continue on this circle if we did not start to begin to say, let us, how do we, how do we overhaul our politics? We should be excited about that. In 1999, it wasn't like this. It moved to the issue of country that. What country that came, Tom Green and all the rest of them went down. But at the end of the day, people passed through the back door. When you see people who are always backward mindset, they have a kind of backward mindset. Now, you, you see, let your said, the election that brought me to power is so perfect. What do we do from there? He started by setting up Justice Waste Committee and they provide a solution on how we will move from that kind of Marie Claire election to a better election where you will not need to kill somebody, technology will be relevant, but today what are we seeing? From that level where Jonathan took it from, we had Kadrida, what the next level was supposed to be, release the result without going on, uh, blocking somebody on the road and put gun on his neck and ask him to eat the voters, uh, the resource sheet and you broke the one in your pocket. We saw it in another state here some years ago where somebody was double cross on the road and was meant to swallow the, the, the resource sheet. Even when the professor was standing to say, Look at what I went through in the hand of the other professor who was the manager said, Please, bluff, you will take uh, you stay that in tribunal. Now you want stu student, uh, your student in Unibet here to believe that the elderly was around. Want it. They want it like that. That's why I said I don't applaud them for coming up and said, Come on, the, the ones are talking about 50% uh, slash. We are those who get, going to get it. Let's forget about the youth that have ill gotten wet. With what happened in Essence, a government that wants to move into progress and development, we know that our youth, they were doing Jumat prayer in Lekki, they were doing Sunday service. In Lekki, there was no issue of, oh, at the affair, uh, you'll be Christian. They didn't stop themselves. The were, environmental was going on. They had division of labor there. The job was going on. Until the government, they said, went there to go and scatter them. What I'm trying to say is that... Well, you just cannot accuse the government of going to scatter them. You don't have that proof, please. I, I think I, I was one that brought tear gas on the face of uh, the You don't have that proof, please. What I'm saying is that yes. the elderly was designed it like that okay. to make sure it didn't work. Yeah. Uh, until we start looking at politics beyond money that it is about service okay now if it is all about service must i go and borrow money from somewhere and come and put it into it you remember in this same station when we came on board then and people uh, were elected to house of assembly i told them i said if they were elected by their people i said the vision of one man will not stop them from being sworn in so that they can fully speak on behalf of their people that voted them but I said eventually, it shows where our politics is today for four years. Those communities have no representation in the houses of assembly. If truly the men that were elected then knew that it was their people that elected them, that their loyalty is to the masses, the definition of democracy is not to one person. I think today they will be seated 
and make their uh, community relevant in the scheme of things. All right, the blaming people. Okay, Bishop, you, 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 you just calm down, you just calm down. Well, honorable, I don't know how to paint this. For <laughs> all their submission, they are saying that your party is promoting corruption by this act of pegging 100 million for a form, even if bring it down to 50 million for people below 40, that somewhere along the line, this action is encouraging fun and the embers of corruption. That is not true. Mm. Because they are not a member of that political party. Mm. It is where you belong to that you begin to determine and dictate the pace of how things are done in that place. Since they are not a member of APC, they mm. should they should leave that for APC. Mm. And let me tell you, this is an internal internal arrangement of APC. But it's affecting Nigerians as a as, as, as oh, a whole. The the money I spend in my political party affects you as a Nigerian. It is my money. I want to contest it is my personal ambition. It's not yours. Mm. Mm. Until I become one before you are now a Nigerian that will question me how I do my things. Mm. But let me tell you, all political parties have their own internal arrangement. APC is no exception. So why 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 cry to high heavens about it's because the change you told us you're doing the change. Come back, Bishop. Let me tell you, the change is Bishop. Bishop, Bishop told us that Bishop, continue to have this part of Bishop. If you want to let him go, he has the house of God. He has the floor. For some people have known in this state who have been a pastor, they still remain where they are. But there are some that even demanded money from me to build the first church. They are riding different cars and building mansions. How do you describe that? Okay, that aside, he mentioned that the youth who participated in the NSAS were doing kind of division of labor, they were mm -hmm. conducting themselves. How come the, the, the protest degenerated into looting and burglary? That attracted the law and you don't want us to, to, to go into that. To check the SS. You don't want us to go into that. Let us not say. Let's be focused, please. please. Now, yeah. if we want to be focused, if yes. you listen carefully to him, yes. he, he diverted from the issue and begin to trace uh, mm. all those that have happened in the past, mm. which is not connected with APC as a party. APC has the exclusive right to fix laws. That is why they also wrote constitutions. APC formally have a, a constitution, they have rewritten their constitution to suit the present day reality. The idea is to make sure that you don't operate from the old order to provide solution to provide solution for current uh, reality. That is the reason why, like I said, I said in 2015, to buy a presidential form under APC was 27.5 million. In 2019, it was 40 million. 45 million. But today, it's 100 million. More and than 100 percent. That is the thinking minutes. of the leadership of APC. And you can't take that away from them. If you don't want to buy from and contest under APC, the other part, political party, you can go there. So the idea of painting what has happened in APC as being a corrupt practice is a far away Notion from the reality. No, because yeah, said you're encouraging corruption. That's yeah. what they said. How come the other party who sold their phone for 22 for for 12 million in the last election are now selling the ass in 40 million? How do you call? How do you? How do you? How do you? We're asking. We are talking about you. Bishop, 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 that Bishop, 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 stop me. We will do the status. Bishop, I'm on my feet. Bishop, he has the power. He has the floor. He has the floor. Have a way of coming out with election message that will catch the hearts of electorate to vote in vote them in, in, in into power and APC is not new to 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 okay. it in. other political parties have done that before we have seen restoration consolidation transformation in time past now those are setting uh, election election slogan Okay. That they use in it's, selling their, their it's candidates. not a reality, it's just a cosmetic. No, uh, for those they shop, for me, this is not uh, this is not a discussion between you and I. Mm. I have come here to tell Nigerians the reality. reality. Did I say it is am I giving unnecessary excuse to what has happened? It no. is our own team. Mm. It is APC team. You as a clergyman, you can also organize your political party mm. since you people feel 
that those in the in the house of God are sinner than the others. Come out and sponsor your own to run for president of this country. Mm. And yet you are not supporting those who have come out, you are condemning them. Is it condemnation that we will use to repair this country? We must be ready to profile constructive criticism. Mm. This is how you're supposed to do it. This is how you are not doing it. And you must be supporting in contributing your quota for the national building. Thank you. Thank you. Instead of contamination, everything should be encouraged. Mm -hmm. They should be commended mm -hmm. for doing this. Okay. Have is, he said, APC should be encouraged and commended for doing it. He's speaking like a party man right now and bringing forth reality. What is happening right now in Nigeria? He said, this is it. If you don't have the money, there are other political parties. You can go get their forms. If you don't have the money, you can just bow out. If you don't have the money, you can come together a political party, you be a, a, a Christian or a Muslim, form yours and contest. For what he said, he wants to be a realist in this particular discussion segment. Take it off from that. I, 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 I actually agree that mm. <clears throat> it's just like I said in the beginning that it's more like a business. Mm. It's a market. That man is selling tomatoes. Mm. This one is selling tomatoes. This one says, I'm selling my own for a thousand naira for the basket. Mm. The other one says, it's a thousand five. If you are not buying, go anywhere you like. Mm. But we are only, uh, you know, we are, we are disturbed. I am disturbed mm. by this, you know, huge amount. I'm not actually particular about APC per se. This money is not money. I don't know if all of my years of civil service job, <laughs> if I would gather this kind of money. You know, I mean, everything I've spent and what I have not spent, everything together, if it could be up to a hundred million. So you just imagine that. How, 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 do, you, how, do, you, how do you how do you get there? Because I put my shoe, I mean myself in the shoe of an average Nigerian, the one who's walking in the street, who is also thinking of how will Nigeria become better? How will people stop leaving Nigeria? I mean, out uh, out of uh, I mean, to the outside world for to fight for themselves. Why don't people start moving from outside world to come and join us in Nigeria because the place is good? This is actually the, so. It's the reality. When the prices are fixed, you think you have something to offer for Nigeria. You come out and say, "Okay, I believe in APC. I don't believe in PDP. Or I believe in PDP. I don't believe in APC." So you assess them based on your assessment. You determine wherever you are going to fall in. Just as we are saying that this price is too much, there are those who will also be saying that it's just fine. It's fine to make the money really like that. You know, I had a thought. When an analysis said that um, what a person will earn as a president will not be up to a hundred, I mean, a million in, 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 yes, in, yeah, yeah, in, yes. in a hundred, I mean, uh, in, in eight, eight years. years. The thought that came to me was, okay, should I say it makes sense then? Because it's like saying, come and walk. You are not coming here to come and make money. <laughs> so if you know you have, I mean, the well meter to come and offer Nigeria whatever Nigeria needs to become a better place, then bring the money and buy the form. So I had this, you know, slight thought that could it be, but you now look at it on another side that I am not saying that everybody who has, you know, money is definitely corrupt. This is not the meaning. But how many people that you can vouch for their integrity really have this money? So it's, it's the combination of the financial capability and the capability as it uh, comes, I mean, uh, as it relates to integrity, trustworthiness, honesty, you know, the, the, uh, be, be a man who has the people at your heart that you want to really serve the people. We, before the, um, uh, the pre current president came on board, we had, I mean, we had a lot of instances of the president weeping because of the condition of Nigeria. Mm. And we took it for it is genuine interest in fixing Nigeria. There are two ways to, there are just two ways to explain it. It's either the president did not know the enormity of the task of fixing Nigeria before even thinking it until he sat on the podium and found that the people are the different uh, ends of the whole thing that you need to do about Nigeria. They are just more than what you think. Mm. Is either that the case or it was just a case of 
let me just get the people moved by my, you know, apparent. Uh, we, we can't make the judgment. But in fact, the best judgment is to believe that he actually had interest in fixing Nigeria. Oh, right. But perhaps, somehow, in the line. I mean, somehow it's overwhelming. And it's, it doesn't mean that there, there are no works being done. Works are being done. But the extent of the work and then the extent of the, you know, the uh, groans in the minds of the people, the pains the people are going through, uh, appears to be overwhelming. Oh. I say it outshadows whatever is being done. So, anyhow, you fix the price, people are to come. If you think you can afford it, you buy the form. And not necessarily the price is what determines where you go to. Look at the integrity of the people Thank that you. are coming on board. Thank and then you. choose the right person at any time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so, so much, gentlemen. You have one minute each to summarize your point because our time is up. You've spoken at length. You've spoken as a political analyst and, of course, as a clergyman. You've spoken also as a political analyst and as a party man. And, of course, you also a political analyst and a clergyman. Putting all these together, one minute each. Bishop, you take the first shot. Uh, what I think we should do, like my, my submission is not, I'm not particular about uh, APC. I'm talking about the party. Yeah. I'm talking about the mindset. And that's why you see all the things I mentioned here. I mentioned them because when they came on board, they told us it is going to be a change. And change, I don't, uh, I'm not a scholar, but I know that change means a paradigm shift from status quo. But I want to say to you today, the change I have observed is not the change we expected. Though some of us then, in 2014, we spoke to the roof on this plat a platform and other platform, but people thought we didn't have sense. Oh, but right. today, they know we have more sense now oh, right. than whatever. Because uh, in this same, uh, uh, pro in this same uh, platform. Uh, platform, we have spoken about a professor who was brought from the academia to head the particular this thing. And when they ask him question about where the money went to, everything ended as a Nollywood. And the professor today have not stood before EFCC as we are talking. Maybe Thank we you. in 15 years' time. time. But what I say is that. If the issue of politics are to go with everything money, that is not the best. Thank I you. believe that the, the best among us should come out and we should support them. Thank I you. support exorbitant amount of money for contest. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. All right, over to you. One minute. Well, uh, uh, I want to commend APC for giving this 50% uh, slash to mm. the youth, at least to encourage the youth now to fulfill the constitutional provision that the youth to run for any position of their choice. And for the women, they should also seize this opportunity to come out because I overheard the wife of the president telling the aspirants to, as a matter of uh, considering the women, to feed the, uh, the women as their running mates. I want to also encourage my party APC to encourage party members to start paying their dues. If APC for example, every member of APC are paying 1,000 Naira as monthly dues for 12 months a year. And we have 40 million APC members. If you take the membership dues into consideration, that will make a lot of impact to reduce the money payable for fund All right. going forward. Thank you. So it is my <clears throat> earnest uh, I belief that this move will go a long way to engender a, a, a proposed food Thank food you. Food that will encourage yep. the men to be separated from the boys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable uh, Aviz. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> As we have it, that's how we have it. It's a business. Yes, that's how I see it. And therefore, my uh, emphasis is when we go in about the whole thing about electioneering, let us be more focused on the integrity of the individuals. And then as for the money that have been fixed by the different parties, I appeal, let's slash it further. Even if you have given a consideration to the youth, do something more. And in the event that we have people of integrity that cannot support, I may have a hundred million, and I could say, Mr. Wilson, I have seen everything about you. I want you to go there. And I give you the 100 million and say, go there. And so if, this, if, the, if the mindset is about who can work, 
who has the integrity. Yeah. I think we started the journey of reformation. Thank you. But when we are all about who has the money, who has the money, then we are going to just have the problem continuously. Thank, no. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. You've heard them. Different folk, different strokes. You heard from the clergyman and, of course, uh, uh, you know, honorable that said, look, he wants to be a realist. This is what is happening in Nigeria. Because I'm like saying, if you go by this, that means you're encouraging and treating corruption. He said, no, it's not true. If you don't have the money, what are you doing there? Go to other parties. You can easily back out if you want to back up. But think about it. You be the judge of this. Take a look at the price tag on the nomination forms across the political party platform and tell me. If it should continue like this, do you think we'll win the fight against corruption? Do you think we'll be able to take Nigeria to El Dorado? Is it all about money politics? Or this is the best way for us to get the best of the best to salvage Nigeria? That question is for you. The opinion, the answer, it has nothing to do with ITV, but it is the best possible to follow rules and regulations governing the airwaves. Up next is the insurance segment. We saw Dr. B.J. Bry. Don't go away.